Drum, Philly film. Drum, games. Drum. It's over. Welcome back to Route 280. Yeah. yeah. Riding around at the speed of sound. Da, 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 gonna find all my way home. That's not how it goes. Something like that. Like that really. <laughs> We're asked why not. Because, you know, this just screams Mario Kart. They actually made a Sonic Mario Kart type game. Did they? Yep. Sonic All Star Racing. Oh, that's right! That's right. Um, I act. No, I picked up tennis. I didn't pick up racing. Yeah. Hopefully, I make it go. Because one of the things that happened, uh, this is the first recording that we've had since, um, oh, well, <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> I wish all my rear-ending accidents went like that. <laughs> oh, I <hurt> <laughs> Um, this is the first recording that we've done since, uh, holiday break, and, uh, the library has expanded immensely. And I, I can't remember everything that, that is now uh, in the library, but I do remember that one of the games that I picked up was Sonic All-Stars Tennis or something like that. Hmm. So if we ever want to relive that kind of pain, like yeah. Donna. Whoa! Why? Well, I don't think Donna's going to be in that one. No, oh, damn it. Jesus. This is better than driving on I-65 on the way back like I did. Well, okay, so on the way back to North Dakota, I was I was going through uh, Chicago. Before I hit Chicago, I had to hit I-65, and I had a near life experience. It was pretty awesome, if you want to think about it that way. <laughs> I thought you put it was a near life experience. I thought you almost died. It's you almost knew. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's how I always view it. Like you know, everything's sort of humdrum, and then there's these moments in your life. That make you actually think about life. <laughs> so that's why I always call them near-life experiences. Yeah, well, makes sense. So, um... Oh my oh, god! No. Yeah! <laughs> oh, you gotta redo the whole damn thing now? Yeah. That's what you get for hot-dogging. Yeah. Uh, or hot-batting. Or whatever the fuck she is. Yeah, yeah put him pain in the ass as far as I'm concerned. Am I right, people? Hey. <laughs> So anyway, uh, so I'm riding back, I'm driving back to North Dakota, and I'm on the east, eastern end of Chicago. Like, I'm not even in Chicago yet, I'm still in Indiana. And the snow is, it's coming down, and it's, 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 but it's in that area in between, like, freezing and, like, 37 degrees or something, where it's, like, it's snow, but it's, it's also wet, and it just accumulates to be, like, sleep. Yeah, it turns it out, I guess, yeah. as soon as it cools off. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm in... I'm, I'm driving through at, like, 2 in the afternoon, and Ooh. there are... There are three or four vehicles on the road. I'm in the far right because I'm not looking at haul, the haul tail or anything. Two lanes over from me is this uh, semi-trailer... This, this tractor trailer and then the next lane over to me but just ahead of him ahead of the trailer tractor trailer is this dude in a modified F-150 that has like all his tools on the back and whatnot. well he somehow loses control of his truck and then swerves right in front of the semi the semi T-bones him so I'm like oh crap this dude's already dead and the next thing you know, the trailer of the tra uh, of the semi starts to crumple up like an accordion, and the um, the payload, which just happened to be, because I found an accident report of, online about this whole thing later, they were these five thousand pound metal rolls of just sheet metal. Oh, mm -hmm. coil roll. Yeah, coil rolls came flying out. Because apparently he, the the guy did not um, strap them down to what they were supposed to be. Because in the accident report it said that he he was he was cited for that. Oh. So these things came bursting out of the sides of the uh, of the crumpling trailer, and one of them came at me. 
and I was slightly behind when this accident happened. And I explained this to Eric uh, beforehand. It was one of those moments in life where you, like, everything just slows down, and it, it's like everything else just took over. And every time, I, I even told him this too, it's like every time I even think about it, it's like this episode, that episode from Cowboy Bebop where Spike is thrown out of the, out of the top of the church, and he's falling down, and he hears that music. Well, that's actually from uh, uh, the Grinch, but yeah, was close say, enough. That's the Grinch, like, well, like, yeah, but it it sounds like that. So every time I see this in my head, this is what I get. And Eric, what did you explain that it is? What did you explain that phenomenon is? Like where your body takes over? Yeah, it's where the the rational part of our brain just shuts down because cause and effect no longer matters. It's all about. Just action, getting out of the way, surviving, whatever it takes. Okay. So it's like the part of us that actually says what's going to happen next just quits functioning at all, and it's just all about what we're doing. Yeah, because that's what happened, because I I didn't even think about it. Just my foot jammed on the gas, and I narrowly missed that stupid roll. It almost hit my the, the, rear, the rear driver's side fender. I'm going to have taken that out. So it's like, holy shit. Almost like, holy shit, what are you doing on that rust bucket, man? Yeah. Oh, God, it's, I it's forgot a, about this level. Yeah, it's a level of, like, all rails, almost. You know, in my heavy skating days, that's a dream come true. Oh, yeah, I remember those. The the air-powered springs. Let's go get this. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting. You know all this. Of course, of course Eric knows all the secrets to all this shit. And I just sit here like, okay... Oh, oh, so the great power it doesn't know everything. Ah, this was one of the levels that I avoided. Like I did not want to play. I can see why. Yeah. <laughs> God, I couldn't even imagine how hot his uh, the arches of his feet would be right now with all that. Wow. Quite the atmosphere yeah, down here. Yeah, yeah, Dreamcast controller is definitely a different type. It's more like along the lines of an Xbox, but still kind of wonky. Going, going. Oh, okay. yeah. I'm doing things. I'm emoting here. Oh, how oh, nice! You got an extra bag. Okay. Yeah, we what is that, anyway? I've, I've never understood those things. You have the Mystic Melody. No, it does that. But if we were to go there, there's an extra life. Oh. But it's a one-way trip. Oh. For the most part. Okay. Like, when you do the level select, where there's different missions for each level, uh -huh. there's, like, one of those little creature things that okay. you have to find in every level, and they're always related to those. Okay. <laughs> Wow, wow. Let me bounce and go. Wee! I am Sonic. Or, yeah, I'm Sonic. I'm Shadow. Oh, that was a I should be screaming for my death, but I don't care. Oh, damn. Oh, well. Just the end of my life. I kind of sound like Richard Nixon. Oh. I am not a crook. No, now I'm mixing up my politicians. I started doing Ted Kennedy with my with my Richard Nixon. That's, don't mix Democrats and Republicans. You get Republicrats, and God only knows what will happen. World implode. Yes, the world will implode. Sounds like a good result. Yeah. One of those things that will happen. Yeah, like I really want to talk about politics on this show. No. I'm allergic to that shit. Closest I get to that was. Ah! Um, I had my students. Uh, I told them. Half of them did. Uh, to watch at least some part of the State of the Union address. Because it's a public speech. And it's like, well, what did you notice that he talked about? You know, and things like that. But 
And it's like, what do you think of some of the things that he proposed? Other than that, I'm like, I honestly don't care what your <laughs> politics are. It's just like, do some of these things sound good to you? Do they not? Or are they D for dirt? Yeah. Dirt. So. Bon voyage. Doctor. Doctor, doctor. Can't you see him burn and burn? I'm going to talk all sexy to you on this walkie talkie. Next time on Philly Film Games, I'm feeling a warm welcome. <laughs>